begin. Thank you for joining everyone. So today we're going to be talking about how has a mentoring connection helped strengthen your well-being. My name is Giovanna Salazar and I am the social media manager for SHIP. And here we have Lenis Perez, if you can introduce yourself. Hi everyone, my name is Lenny Perez. I um, pronounce she, her, and ella. And I am originally from Venezuela, chemical engineer, an active member of SHEP, and also an active member in the mentoring program that SHEP provides. Amazing. All right, well, let's get right into it. Um, so mentoring has so many benefits. We mostly think of mentors helping with professional development or even technical skills, soft skills. Um, what have you experienced as a mentor or and or mentee in your connections that has also helped you strengthen your well-being? Yeah, one of the uh, first memories that comes to mind is a recent experience I had as a mentee. And my mentor had to reschedule her um, our our meeting. And when we finally met, she said, oh, I'm sorry, I had to reschedule. I really wasn't feeling well. I was feeling pretty sick at the beginning of the week. And I was asking her, you know, how did that work for you? Because I know many times when we feel sick or ill, uh, we think, oh, no, we still have to show up for work. We still have to be there. And she said, I had to take a moment and think to myself, what would I tell a colleague? And to me, that really helped me recognize that it's okay to prioritize your well-being um, at work and create those spaces where if you don't feel well, take some time. That's actually going to make you recover faster and feel better. So I really appreciated her vulnerability of sharing with me, you know, my initial reaction was to I need to show up. And then I said to myself, what would I tell somebody else? So that was really a great lesson that I will share that really strengthened my thought about prioritizing my well-being when it comes to, uh, you know, my physical health and the responsibilities at work. Amazing. That's a really nice story. And I think it's true that within these connections, you know, mentors and mentees, they can almost serve as role models. Like, oh, they just like showed me this example of what to do in this situation. Um, and you learn from that, whether it's, you know, information you're not learning from meetings, but just seeing them, how they're acting in certain situations. Yes. So thank you for sharing that. Um, so do these connections like fill your cup? And if so, how? Yes, uh, they do. I want to, as a mentor, I really love helping. I've had a couple of mentees that are very young in their careers. Some are still students and just sharing my own stories and experiences and seeing them have those light bulb moments of, oh, I didn't think about this. That really uh, fills up my cup because I feel that I'm being of service, that that I'm actually helping someone gain some wisdom or perspective, like passing down that wisdom. And I think that's something as familias, we really love to share uh, the lessons that we've learned. Also, having a mentor where uh, one time I was being very vulnerable in terms of a question I wanted to ask her, and I was thinking of changing the topic, and I said, nope, I'm just going to ask her if she's ever felt this way throughout her career, and just the conversation, the way that it developed, I got so much insight from her own experience, so much insight from my own experience that I said, you know, this felt so good at the end of those um, 30 minutes that we had together. I felt I had notes that I was writing about it. And that really helps the perspective of, you know, you can be someone who helps, but you can also be someone that uh, can open up in a safe space with someone that you have created a relationship and you trust and they have the best intention. And I love that there's that mentor-mentee connection where we can do that through the CHIP platform. Amazing, that's nice to hear. And I think it's also important to emphasize that mentoring connections are mutually beneficial. You know, Typically we think as the mentor being the one with the expertise. I've heard so many stories where also the mentors are learning from the mentees. Um, so yeah. 
All right, going to the next question. Did you learn soft skills or just technical or both through mentorship connections? For me, I think because my intentions has always been focused on relationship building and networking, it's been more on the soft skills, um, just really understanding how to navigate, for example, when with I work with my mentor, um, she has a high level management position. So how to manage, how to navigate certain frictions or certain conflicts that may happen in the workplace, because let's be honest, they happen, you know, everywhere, no matter what company you work for. Um, so, so that really has helped in terms of developing soft skills, how to approach things and um, what policies the companies can provide to support the um, healthy relationships between employees. And in terms of um, other skills, not that I've gained, but that I've shared is I've helped one of my mentees with some mock interviews. And she was getting ready to interview for her summer internship. So doing mock interviews and asking her some questions. And it was interesting because I was looking at her resume. I was asking her questions through what she put, had put on the resume. And at the end of it, I asked her, you know, how did that feel? And she said, it helped me connect why they approached me. Uh, for this specific position because I hadn't seen it. And that happens so many times when we looked at our resumes and we looked at our experience that we're so close to it, we forget to make the connection of why people may be interested in coming to us. So I think having those soft skills of practicing for a mock interview, reviewing someone's resume, and just giving feedback has been uh, really helpful to develop and practice that. Yeah, soft skills are very important. And I feel like through mentorship, that's the best way you can get those skills. Mm -hmm. um, so was it up to you if soft skills were the focus of the connections or was it just really what you thought needed to happen? Um, a lot of times what we do, and whether I'm a mentee or a mentor is kind of on the first call, Talk about what are some of the intentions uh, between the relationship that we're trying to build. And for me, because of the pairings that I've had, it hasn't been people that have been on my specific field of expertise. So the soft skill just made sense of just saying, hey, like I said, with my mentor, she's in a high management position. I would love to learn how do you tackle the situations with the mentees. Um, I've done tons of interviews. I've, you know, modified my resume a hundred times. So it's just sharing those skills with her that really have helped uh, move things forward and, and, you know, see her thrive as well. So I think it's just, however the pairing works, I think if I was just to be paired with someone that was in my field specifically, Maybe I will ask some more of the technical um, side of the skills that I can always improve on. But other than that, it's just it's it seems like soft skills has been what we want to work on on the uh, on the relationships. Amazing. Thank you for sharing that. And, you know, we're talking about well-being here, soft skills. Um, based on these connections and having these conversations with mentors and mentees, were you able to form any, you know, personal or lifelong, like, you know, friendships, relationships, connections in any way from these connections? Yes, um, for sure. The last, um, ex the last round of mentors and mentee connections that I had, um, even though it ended, I still keep in touch with my mentor. We meet once a month. Um, and with my mentee, since she's now experiencing her first corporate internship, like we've been in touch, she reaches out if she has any questions, just because it's her first time working for a big company and, and wants to make sure what are some of the things that she could expect, what are some of the normal things that will happen throughout her experience uh, if, if she comes across a challenge. She reaches out via email, we sit down for, you know, 30 minutes, just do some brainstorming and 
that really helps to have this long lasting relationship with someone that you've trust that you know you can ask these questions to and and that's I think the biggest benefit for my well-being is just to know oh this challenge came up I can go as my mentor like she will I know she will be honest I know she will tell me even if she hasn't experienced anything like this she will tell me this is what I will do you know how does that sound for you or this is my perspective and that's always helpful it really is amazing to hear well thank you for sharing those are all the questions I had for today um but now I want to give you the chance if you want to share anything and if not that's okay um just about well-being and mentorship connections yeah so I think number one we're human beings we're really um geared towards connecting with other people other humans around us and keeping an open mind and being curious really helps strengthen uh, how we feel. Um, it helps with our confidence. And I feel that confidence is one of those key components to really have good well-being. So when you have role models that you trust, that you can look up to, that you feel comfortable and um, have good chemistry, I think that leads for a really long-lasting relationship. And I've heard many times from people with lots of experience share, build your board of directors or build your personal network, right? And this is an incredible opportunity to build a diverse um, set of board of directors. Like I consider my mentor one of my board of directors when I have a question I know um, who to ask. So having that as part of, um, you know, your toolkit and resources, it really helps you with your well-being. Um, that's at least that's what I believe. Yes, it is very true. And I think the biggest thing that comes to mind is transparency. You know, if there's transparency in these mentorship connections, then they will, I think, be successful. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Linus. Thank you.